I'd love to talk to you alone. If we could just go someplace. Right here is fine. I don't know if you heard about this new website I launched. No. The Facebook? You called me a bitch on the internet, Mark. That's why I wanted to talk to you. If we on could just, the internet. That's why I came over. Comparing women to farm animals. I didn't end up doing that. It didn't stop you from writing it. As if every thought that tumbles through your head was so clever it would be a crime for it not to be shared. The internet's not written in pencil, Mark. It's written in ink. And you published that Erica Albright was a bitch right before you made some ignorant crack about my family's name, my bra size, and then rated women based on their hotness. There was no book. Uh, what I had was a 14-page book proposal uh, that Ben Mesrick had written for his publisher. He wrote a book. He wanted to write a book about the, the founding of the face, uh, Facebook and the friction between uh, among the people who'd founded it. And he gave it to his publisher. His publisher, Random House, sent it out here to Hollywood to try to get a simultaneous film deal set up. And that's how it wound up in my hands. Uh, and I said, I was reading the book proposal and said yes on page three. It was the, the fastest I've ever said yes to anything. Uh, Facebook wasn't something that I was particularly interested in. I, I wasn't on Facebook. I'd heard of Facebook, but I'd heard of it the way I'd heard of a carburetor. Uh, what really interested me was that at, against the backdrop of this very modern invention was a story that was as old as storytelling itself. Friendship, loyalty, betrayal, power, class, jealousy, um, uh, and that it, it just really struck me uh, that it was the, the but the size of the story and the nature of the story was something that Aeschylus would write, or Shakespeare, or, or even Paddy Chayefsky a few decades ago. I don't go to school. You're kidding. No. Well, where did you go to school? William Taft Elementary, for a little while. Seriously? You're not like 15 years old or anything, are you? <laughs> no. Well, you're not like 15, are you? No. So what do you do? <sighs> I'm an entrepreneur. You're unemployed. I wouldn't say that. What would you say? That I'm an entrepreneur. Well, then what was your latest preneur? Well, I founded an internet company that let folks download and share music for free. Kind of like Napster? Exactly like Napster. What do you mean? I founded Napster. Sean Parker founded Napster. Nice to meet you. I did meet Sean. Uh, I, I'm actually, I think I'm the only one who met uh, the person that their character was based on before uh, the movie um, went into photography. I had auditioned for the part and there was kind of a, two, I don't know, I, could have been two weeks, could have been two months. It seemed like an eternity for me <laughs> uh, where I had read for the part uh, and then come back in and to do sort of a proper screen test and uh, so I, I was sort of um, waiting to find out um, who was going to be playing the part of Sean Parker and um, in that interim time Ironically, in New York, I did run into him, and um, it was really awkward because he read that I was playing him on the internet, and he said, hey, you're playing me, and I said, well, it's, I don't know yet. This is a good guy. We don't know that he's not a good guy. We know he stole our idea. We know he lied to our faces for a month and a half. No, he never lied to our faces. Okay, he never saw our faces. Fine, he lied to our email accounts and he gave himself a 42-day head start because he knows what apparently you don't, which is that getting there first is everything. I'm a competitive racer, Div. I don't think you need to school me on the importance of getting there first. Thank you. All right, that was your father's lawyer. This is in-house counsel. He's gonna look at all this and if he thinks it's appropriate, he'll send a cease and desist letter. What's that gonna do? What, do you wanna hire an IP lawyer and sue him? No, I wanna hire the Sopranos to beat the out of him with a hammer. We don't even have to do that. That's right. We can do that ourselves. I'm 6'5", 220, and there's two of me. I, I met them after we had finished principal photography, so uh, it was actually just more funny to meet them than it was informative because I'd spent the last, you know, couple months trying to create these guys into my head, and then to finally see them incarnate, I was like, oh, oh, there's actually two of you. I mean, it was, it was, uh, it was a really fun experience getting to meet them, and uh, we spent like a whole day together, ended up like going out that night and just having a great time, but uh, not much research done. Yeah, more fun than anything. Are you all right? I need you. I'm here for you. No, I need the algorithm used to rank chess players. Are you okay? We're ranking girls. You mean other students? Yeah. You think this is such a good idea? I need the algorithm. All right. I need the algorithm. Give each girl a base rating of 1400. At any given time, girl A has a rating RA and girl B has a rating RB.
I had two photographs. I, I, I uh, one, one, one drunk and one not drunk. <laughs> and uh, I was a bit bummed out at first. I was like, oh, that would be great if I could sit with this guy and and steal every single mannerism and every essence of his soul and and not have to do any of my own work. And, and that would be just wonderful. And um, but but then of course I realized how liberating that was. And I kind of just went from there. And of course, you know, I mean, like we 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 can't say enough about Aaron's script. We can't say enough about um, the how meticulous and detailed each character um, was somehow drawn um, uh, and so so all of that kind of work was already on the page and I think our job was just to kind of make it make it live